blood types. Example one. All right, so the following table outlines the percentage of people with certain blood types. So we can see here 40% um, of people are O positive, 8% of people are B positive, and, and so on. Now, question A says, if there are 24.6 million people in Australia, approximately how many have O negative blood? So 9% of people have O negative blood. So if we want to figure out how many people that is, all we have to do is find 9% of the total population of Australia. So 9% of 24.6 million. Now, if I'm going to calculate this, I, I actually should write it. 24.6 million is a proper number. So we'll do that right now. So um, 24 million 600,000. There we go. And we mentioned this in the first dot point. When you're calculating the percentage of an amount, all you do is take your percentage, divide it by 100, and multiply this by the amount. So 2460000. And let's see what we get. Okay. 9 divided 100 times 2460000. And we get 2 million, so there's over 2 million people, 2 million, 214,000 people that would have O negative blood. All right, let's look at question B now. This will be related to the second dot point, I reckon. And if a blood clinic has 30 people in the waiting room and 8 of them are A positive, what percentage of the people have a positive blood okay so when you get questions like this uh, ones where they want you to give your solution as a percentage you need to start by writing it as a fraction first that's where you focus so 8 out of 30 people are O positive that's my fraction total at the bottom and the amount you have at the top once you've got the, the fraction it's really simple all you do is multiply it by 100 um, so I'm going to do 8, actually I'll do my fraction as division, 8 divide 30 times 100 comes out to about 20, 27, we'll round it up, so approximately 